Yo, what up everybody? It's Kiki Uru, aka Baby So Poison, and that's Poison with a Z. And you're now watching Royal Nation TV, baby. What's up, world? This is Prince Dua, aka the Melanated King, and you're now watching Royal Nation TV. And I got a queen with me, a goddess. And she's a little different than most women, but she's definitely on the Royal Nation team. And we're going to talk about all kinds of things. The segment is about a lot of different things from sexuality, from what would you do if your man or your girl did this. It's just a cool little thing to talk about right now, man. And my great co host, what's your name, baby? Kiki Aru. Y'all must know me because the AKA Rainbow Poison, that's Poison with a Z. Um, child to Rachel Poison TV. You know, I'm trying to be like you, my boy. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Well, you know, you got to take baby steps first because no one did it overnight. If they did, trust me, they were lying. Facts. We got the drinks in there. What kind of drink you got? Um, margarita, because it's tequila for me all day Thanks. now. What's up with you? Um, thank you so much for the invite. Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, I'm really excited about this whole Royal Nation thing. Um, getting to know you already has been like huge, you know, so. Thank you. Well, well, I it's mean. It's nice to meet you. Okay, you yeah. are now tuned into Hello Royal Nation TV. You already know. Oh, what else? So look, you're known on your Instagram for a different, unique thing that you have. And, what is that? And um, what is that? <laughs> this unique thing had me gasping forever when I first seen it. <sighs> Don't show them what you're working with, baby. Ooh. Oh whatever, but it's oh, just like shit. okay. So <laughs> hey. let me tell you something, right? Go for it, go for it. Cause I didn't even know this was like lit at all. Okay, so at first, when I was in middle school, that's when like you know, like I, you know how you go like ah, sometimes like, I wasn't even do that for real right now. Do for real right now. I wasn't even that type. All right, I was not even that type. <laughs> I was doing that type and like it was one day I did it in class, like everybody just went like, ugh. No, but it wasn't like I wouldn't have been like, ugh, right. my, my little man should I would have been like right? it was middle school. I'd be like, hey, um, do you like cookies? Because I got some cookies for you. Ew. <laughs> you know? Hurt. And then but no, but that time would have been like and then I would have been like, real Medusa is real. But I guess like it was middle school, it's a foreign country, you know, I wasn't even here so where are you time. from? So I'm gonna get back to the story, right? But I am originally I was I am originally born in Rwanda, right? I was I was born Wakanda? in Rwanda. Rwanda. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I was born in Rwanda, and um, I don't know if y'all know about it, like the genocide and shit like that. Like that's the shit that I was born in. Um, I'm trying to because sorry, but yeah, I was born '94 um, during the war, which means that obviously you couldn't stay there. So mm -hmm. I was raised in Mozambique, and um, just to give y'all some context, like Mozambique was colonized by Portugal, so that's the culture that I grew up in, like mm -hmm. that Portuguese culture. And then I was boarded in South Africa. For those who don't know, that means that I went to boarding school mm -hmm. okay. in South Africa. Okay. Johannesburg. Well, right. now it's great. Well, I love your skin, by the way. You have some beautiful thank skin. You. Yes, oh, yes. So, thank you. Thank you. That's why I'm the melanated king, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question for you, though. And, we can, and you know, we talked about what we, how we want to do this and, and how we're going to affect people. But um, let's speak on sexuality. What does sexuality mean to you? And so, yeah, going back to my tongue situation story, right? So, um, and, and, okay, and I'm going back to the story because it would make sense to how, you know, sexuality like, attaches gotcha, itself. Gotcha. Um, because the, the best parts of me or the parts of me that may be unique, like, back home, in that environment that I was in, although very culturally ambiguous, it was still just something that was so different that was looked at as ill. You know, like, well, are you a witch or something? Like, I promise you I heard that one day. And <laughs> So you heard maybe, that one day because of the what? Or whatever. But, we'll right, good. <laughs> but I promise you, it, it wasn't, it wasn't nice to feel that way. You know, like mm -hmm. I was never like bullied really growing up. If I was, I probably didn't even notice it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but that was like that instance that made me feel that way. You know, mm -hmm. like the one time 
I'm actually being me out loud or whatever. It's just what that is. You know, so that made me like retract myself. You know, it just became like very protective over me and all my features or whatever. Okay. So I already look different, you know. Okay. And because of that, I never really opened up. I never really opened back up. And before then, I probably had one boyfriend. Okay. You know, and I, I, even that boyfriend was just because everybody else had one. Okay. You know, that's the only reason why I got a boyfriend type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I didn't even, I, I just wanted to play. Okay. And the one time that I was actually mean, I was actually mean, you know, like, eh, whatever. And then he was just like, what's that deal? So I just attacked him completely. And I maybe had a few crushes from that till the day I actually came out here, but never mm -hmm. actually had, like, a thought in the Okay. Right, so I came out here when I was 16. I never lost my virginity till I was, like, 17 going on 18. Mm -hmm. And that's because... Nobody so, had the birds and the bees top. Okay, of so I want to, I want to, I want to ask you this though. So, on the speedy up that part, uh -huh. is that what, like, what does sexuality mean to you, coming from that, from that part? And so, to me, it's a spiritual thing. You know, I don't, I'm not big on bodies. I'm big on minds and souls. 